Good morning, guys. Well, yeah, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. But today I'm gonna take you through <clears throat> a full day of eating um, in preseason, you know, as a professional rugby player in the MLR. Um, everything from my bulletproof coffee to, to snacks in between sessions to lunch to dinner, you know, just everything that I'm eating and drinking and how I'm hydrating here in preseason. Um, kind of just to show you like what I do, what I eat to, to feel, you know, mentally and physically at my best and give me the best chance of number one, performing on the field and number two, like recovering. So I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, it's bright and early right now. It's 640. I already had my, my water first thing, which is water, Celtic sea salt and lemon. Um, and then the first thing that I actually like drink or consume is a bulletproof coffee. So let's get into it. So my bulletproof coffee is just three ingredients, collagen, MCT oil, and grass-fed butter. I started doing this right when I went animal-based, which was about seven months ago. Um, I love the high fat content early in the morning. It, it really feels like, like rocket fuel for my brain. Um, we know that our brains are basically 60 to 65% fat. And so in order for them to, to I guess, get fuel, um, we need to, we need to feed them fats. And I used to be so anti-fat, um, growing up, which I think was detrimental to, to my health, my mental well being, and also my hormones. And so I, I shifted the perspective on this and I started consuming a ton more, um, animal fats, especially butter. Butter has cholesterol. Cholesterol is a precursor to testosterone. And I just started feeling better. So that's a bulletproof coffee. And then I go into breakfast and before practices on a big day, I don't eat too much. So today, that's some Canadian bacon. I do a bowl of fruit for my carbohydrate source. It just, it's super light, um, you know, fast, simple carbohydrates, gives me a lot of energy. Um, and it just makes me feel, I don't know, light, a lot of energy on the field. And then I'll, I'll have my higher carbohydrate, um, I guess, portions and, and, and whatnot later in the day during the evening. And I guess, eating like that for, for a couple years now, I just, I found that it, it works well for me. Um, and it makes me feel the best on the field. So once I cook that all up, um, little trick guys add salt at the end. Cause I heard it can kind of denature the eggs while cooking, but, um, I smashed that while I worked on the podcast this morning. And then from there we're, we're off to training. Training today is going to be a big one. Um, I think we have, our field session first, but before that, I got to do rehab um, on my lower back. So that's just us at training. Um, Houston's getting some weather right now, so it's pretty windy and it's about 41 degrees. But uh, vibes are still high, and uh, no, just just grateful to be out there. So post field session, we had a total body gym session. So there's just me getting the glutes and the uh, hips and everything warmed up, just having a laugh with the film man. I uh, did a little bit of speed work just to, to prime the body, get us moving. And then uh, here's just some clips that I finished with, just some accessory work. Um, always do a lot of banded stuff. And, of course, have to hit some arms because, you know, a bit of eye candy. Uh, um, but end the session always with some fun movements, uh, some feel-good movements. But from here, I'm driving home, and it's time to smash a lunch. All right, it's lunchtime. So we'll do some grapes. We got chicken thighs, and we're going to do some rice. Get some carbohydrates. Some rice. Chicken. Rice. Microwave it up and there you go. So fast forward to dinner time. Tonight we're going to do my favorite meal. And that is homemade french fries and a grass-fed New York strip with a side of zucchini. So I, I chopped up the, the potatoes, soaked them in some warm salt water, and then, uh, yeah, put in olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, threw those in the oven. I chopped up my zucchini, and then uh, I got them going. I mean, I would have used a barbecue, but it's pissing down rain outside. So, uh, yeah, I ended up with a stove. And then, uh, yeah, guys, take a look. So good. So, so, so. Whoever says they don't like french fries, I question them. I question them. Check the steak.
I'm in heaven. I have steak like every single day. I honestly think steak is like, it's like a multivitamin. It literally has everything in there that you need. I eat animal based. Um, zucchini is a vegetable, I know, but it is one of the ones that are tolerated. You know, if you're eating animal based, um, still a seed, so technically a fruit. But um, now ever since I went animal based, I've just felt absolutely incredible. Mentally, physically, I have less brain fog. I feel like I recover faster. I feel lighter. Um, I feel leaner. Um, everything about it is clean. It's from the source, from the earth. There's no processed foods. I'm elim eliminating seed, seed vegetables, which are literally like the, de the devil. They're so bad for you. Um, nothing processed really, no added sugars, um, just whole wholesome food from, from the earth. And then the only supplements I take are I take beef, beef organs, so desiccated beef organ pills by Heart and Soil. Um, I'll take creatine and on days that I don't go outside or I'm not in the sun a lot, I'll take a D3 supplement. But that's, that's really it. So now after this, we're gonna head to the store. I need some bone broth. I like sipping on bone broth before I go to bed. Um, a little more protein, super, super good. It has a lot of collagen, good for your bones, hairs, you know, ligaments and whatnot. Um, and I heard it, it helps promote melatonin production or release in your body. It's good for your sleep. So I don't know, I enjoy it. So we'll dive into this, we'll go get that and then we'll cap off the night. I put down that meal in like five minutes. It was so damn tasty. And then I headed to Central Market to get some grass fed beef bone broth. No, we got the goods, so. I'll take a look at what I got. All right, so <clears throat> Central Market, we got the goodies. 100% pure maple syrup. I put this on fruit. I put it with milk sometimes to sweeten it up. I don't know, it's just, it's good for you. Uh, it's a little more carbohydrates and before training, before gym, before practice, a little bit of sugar gets the energy up. Um, Grass-fed beef bone broth, that's what I went for. And then I know I said what supplements I take, but I just listened to a Dr. Andrew Huberman podcast um, based on sleep, and he recommended magnesium L3 and 8 before bed. So we picked some up from Natural Stacks. Um, I'm gonna give it a go, see if it does anything, helps me maybe stay, stay asleep longer, fall asleep, be in deeper sleep for longer periods of time. Who knows? Um, Dr. Andrew Huberman is the man, he knows what he's talking about. So if he recommends it, he's typically right. So I'll let you guys know um, how that goes. So it's time to make some bone broth. I'm gonna get into a film study of training today, kick the feet up, then I'm gonna get into my evening routine, get into my book, do some breathing, and then lights out, probably in about hour, hour and a half, so yeah, be right around 9.30, so let's go.